Hello everyone and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we'll be taking a look at the Power Up Squad from PlaySchool Marvel Superhero Adventures. Uh, in my mind this is kind of inspired by Infinity War. They don't think they've ever come out and officially said that. And maybe they have and I'm wrong. But usually when a new movie comes out, uh, Hasbro usually does one of these kind of five figure packs. We saw one for Solo. We saw one for The Last Jedi. And I kind of think this one's for <laughs> Infinity War. You have Thanos. You have this Hulk Buster-ish looking Iron Man here. You have this new short hair version of Black Widow. And then you have a Hulk, even though he was in the movie for a very short time. And then you have this weird Iron Man. This is the only one that kind of feels out of place to me. Um, I would have much rather preferred like a Iron Man that looks more like the one from the movie. But again, these are kind of classic... Um, comic book stylings like Thanos doesn't really look like this so much in the movie but I'm not a huge fan of this weird Iron Man where he has the super long arms that come past his knees so he can do this weird like repulsor thing but we'll take a look at it so kind of standard open packaging here taking a look at the back again it just kind of shows you the five different figures it says power up the Marvel superheroes and defend the planet against Thanos power up and all it does is gives them their respective arms so i don't really know how that's a power up to just get your arms back do they start out without arms and then they power up and get arms it doesn't make sense i could understand if this was the gimmick where they gave you a normal set of arms and then you powered up and got the infinity gauntlet arm or you powered up and got this crazy fist projectile arm like i could understand then it would be powering up but they don't give you a normal set of arms so i don't really get it and to me i don't love like i don't mind the infinity gauntlet being be uh, bigger than everything else because it's the infinity gauntlet but like this giant fist projectile and even this weapon i don't think looks that bad when they have the ridiculously campy giant blasters or like with iron man where his arms are so much bigger than the rest of his body I don't like that play style. I don't like that feature, that gimmick. I don't mind the figures. I mean, the swappable arms are a stupid gimmick in my opinion, but I don't mind like with Black Widow here. She just has a normal size gun. Yes, it's a little bit larger than normal, but it's not ridiculously massive. So like to me, that's still a good looking figure. I can live with the fact that the arms don't move independently. But when they do things like this, where the play feature overshadows the rest of the figure, that's just a little weird in my opinion. And I don't care for it. But what are we going to do? We're going to open this up and we're going to take a closer look. So here are the five figures out of the packaging. I'm going to start with this Iron Man in the back first just because I kind of like him the least. I will say that I do like the paint job on him. I think the red and the silver looks really cool. And the yellow for the eyes and then the chest is actually pretty cool. I believe the head can move from side to side. There it goes. And you have standard, uh, you know, waist articulation. The arms are just a little bit too big. Now I understand what they're going for. They have this kind of base so that he can actually stand and it looks like he's hovering himself in the air. So I appreciate what they're going for. But the arms are just a little bit too big. If they could have just... I mean, I guess they had to get clearance so that it could balance. So I get it. And like I said, if this figure came with another set of arms, if I could take this out and pop in a normal set of arms, I'd love this figure. I would not mind these if this was just like a goofy accessory that you could swap in, but there was a normal set of arms to just make the figure look good. I wouldn't nearly have as much of a problem with it. And you can see the silver paint on the legs is already starting to chip a little bit on mine, which is a bummer. Now I do kind of like the look of having it like this, where it looks like he's firing, you know, the repulsors at enemies. Because then in this way, when you look at it straight on like this, you can't see how kind of goofy the long the arms are and the perspective <laughs> makes it look better. So I kind of like that, but because of how big and heavy it is, there's no way he'll actually stand like that and fire. I also kind of wish you could actually like unscrew these. but So he's okay, and I guess I get what they're going for, but I just think those arms look a little too goofy. Just my opinion. But moving him to the back, we'll take a look next at the Hulk. I actually like this Hulk. I really like the head sculpt. I think the face design is nicely done. Again, there's one bar here for the arm, so you can pop these out if you wish. Or pop them back in. This wrist, this wrist can move, 
and you have the normal waist articulation, but this wrist cannot move because of how this gimmick works. He comes with this really large hollow fist, has a little bit of silver paint up top, and you just pop this in. So it just looks like he has a really big fist, and his fist kind of fits in there, but it doesn't quite fit or reach. And then you just press this button on top to fire. And it fires decently, but this thing is actually pretty big and pretty weighty that, as you just saw, it goes a little bit, and then the weight... I rescind that statement. <laughs> I was going to say the weight kind of makes it fall down. That it fell down bounced and then flew way off somewhere that i'm never going to find that again so in any case i like the design of this hulk i really don't mind i think they did a good job with the molding the shorts look good i like the face sculpt i just wish you could take this thing off because i don't really care for it but otherwise it's a pretty decent little hulk figure next up we'll move to the hulk buster i like this guy quite a bit i really like the design of the head there i think that's great he looks very sturdy very built like he's ready for a fight i like that a lot this is kind of how he comes packaged but you can see he does have these shoulder pads the wrists do move and he does bend at the waist as per usual so i like this guy quite a bit i don't I still don't love the arms but i'll stop harping on that overall just if you just look at this figure i think they did a pretty cool job and i think this like i guess he's generating a spark or something that's kind of a neat little feature that again looks cool doesn't make the figure look out of proportion or weird so i kind of like that i really like this hulkbuster armor pretty neat and then next up we have black widow i like this figure a lot as well i'm pretty sure we've only gotten one version of black widow before this and she had the longer hair and had like a really thin neck so i was always kind of worried that the head was going to break off this is a really nice rendition of black widow i think they did a great job with this the wrists do move there we go so you have this gun in her other hand which like again it's not too big i mean it's a little big but it's not too ridiculously big it looks good you know she's just firing a weapon nice detail i like the red paint on the belt there and i really like the head i think they did a great job with the sculpt the hair looks good believable nice figure i think it looks pretty cool and then the man himself Thanos with the Infinity Gauntlet. All one, two, three, four, five, six Infinity Stones are represented. Now, I don't know if there's like a specific order they're supposed to be in or placement. I don't know if that's something in the comics, but I know that this is not the same order that he acquired them in the movie. So again, I don't know if they picked this at random or if this is a comic book accurate representation and the movie was different. I don't know. But just looking at Thanos the figure, pretty good. I like the color scheme. The gold paint actually pretty darn sharp looks good with the blue i'm hoping over time that gold paint doesn't rub off only time will tell i guess but we have the normal waist articulation wrist movement again this is this is an instance where i really wish they could move separately when you have one kind of in this position and you just want to bring this arm down but you can't because when you bring this one down now he's <laughs> has his hand out like that but if you wanted to just kind of have the infinity gauntlet at a normal position you know this one's kind of stuck over here so he's kind of constantly stuck in this pose you know displaying them to like be in awe of my infinity gauntlet but overall i think the head sculpt is great nice paint the eyes look nice like i said all the blue and gold paint looks really sharp and i love the infinity gauntlet in this case i don't mind that it's a little bit larger because they had to do that just to give you know all five stones kind of equal presence without it being too small so i get that and i don't really mind it being bigger I think it looks pretty good so i don't mind it being bigger in that one so overall i would say it's a pretty decent set i would say my favorites are probably hulk buster thanos and black widow uh, but the hulk is pretty good as well and like i said this guy don't hate him don't love him he's just kind of okay he's got things about him that i do like but he's also got things about him i don't like so he's just kind of middle of the road for me but i think the other four are pretty solid and i don't think that should distract you from buying this set you know some people might love this guy some people might like that repulsor float uh you know gimmick that he's got going on and if you do more power to you i don't you know it's not a terrible gimmick i totally get what they were going for it's just not my favorite personally but let me know what you guys think in the comments below please like share 
subscribe, comment. That's all of them, right? <laughs> In any case, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching.